welcome back to my channel. I'm Roseanne, for those of you who are new, and I'm so happy to have you back again. Today, I thought I would talk about advice and tips for those that are new travelers, people who haven't traveled a lot, but really want to travel. I've been traveling now for quite a while, but when I was younger, I always had an excuse. I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough time. I didn't have, you know, the resources. Um, but eventually, you know, one day I said, I'm just going to make it happen. It's my, I am being called to travel. And so I really wanted to make that happen. If you wait and wait and wait, it's never going to happen. So you need to decide and prioritize. Is traveling important to you? And if it is, then let's make it happen. It's so magical and enriching for your life to travel. And especially if you have the desire. So let me share with you some tips on what you can do if you're a new traveler, what to expect and things to keep, you know, your mind uh, aware of. So the first tip is that you really need to be open minded. Things don't always go the right way. There's going to be some unexpected experiences which can lead to magic. You need to be open minded and flexible when things don't go exactly right. And in those moments, you just never know. I remember one time I was in Dublin with my at the time husband, and we were just, we had done a pub tour. And afterwards, we wandered around um, this area and we popped into a pub. And there were a bunch of locals in there. They were celebrating. There were firefighters. And he and I kind of joined in the celebration. And it was really so much fun. And that's where you can find things that are unexpected and just go with the flow and have a lot of fun. So another tip is to really embrace the local culture. Um, there's going to be different food in different places. There's going to be different ways in which you can um, experience food. I mean, sometimes they eat breakfast differently than we do, or we, or they, you know, have dinner at different times. But you need to be able to expand and understand the culture because that makes it more fun. But if you don't do research to really figure out what to do or what you want to do, because sometimes people don't like to do research. You know, I get it. One thing I would really highly recommend is doing a food tour. When I was in Rome, we did a food tour and it was so much fun. We learned about the different foods. We learned about the history of some foods. And we also learned about the Jewish quarter. We learned about some history that was really fun. And that way we can go back and experience those, that knowledge in a different way, uh, a more full way. And it's always a really great way to learn things is through a tour. It's fun. Another example of a food tour on how beneficial it was is when I was in Turkey. Um, I was in Istanbul with a group of people and we did this wonderful food tour. And in that tour, we went to neighborhoods, we experienced foods. It was, it was kind of the same thing as uh, we did in Rome, but it was uh, more intensive. It was longer and there was more, we went on one side of the ocean to the other side. And it was, it was really fun. So if you're intimidated about eating the different foods in your region where you're going, the food tour is a really great way to go. Another tip is to pack light. When you're first traveling and you're first going on adventures, we tend to pack too much. I have done this and it is not fun because it creates more stress in your traveling because you need to make sure that you can navigate your own suitcase by yourself. No one's going to come rescue you. No one's going to help you in the train station or through the trains. No one's going to help you. I mean, maybe you'll have um, a nice person on the train, but there's no guarantee. You need to trap pack light so that you have the freedom to do whatever you want with your own luggage. Another tip is when you're bringing souvenirs home, you have to figure out how you're going 
to bring those home, either packing a small suitcase, which is full. I like to pack a duffel bag inside my suitcase so I have an extra. <laughs> Nico is hitting this thing. Huh. Um, I like to pack an extra duffel bag in my suitcase so that I have an extra bag if I'm bringing souvenirs back home. That's super helpful. And that has gotten me really great opportunities. I mean, that's really helped me a lot in the past. Also, um, you can also bring a duffel bag with you, check in your suitcase and just have a small duffel bag to put on the plane with you when you're going somewhere. Another really important tip is to always be respectful. When we go to another country, even another state, they have different customs as well. But if you're going to another country, you need to recognize that they do things differently than we do. It's not going to be your home. It's not going to be the way you do things. It's not going to be the way your neighbor does things. In another country, they do things differently. And that's kind of where the magic is, right? I mean, the magic is in the differences. That's how we learn. That's how we get enriched. And that's a really good way to appreciate what we have. But we need to also be respectful. We have to understand different cultures and that that's their culture. And they think the way we do things is strange. So being respectful and understanding that can really make your trip better. If you're coming in and expecting things to be exactly the same way that they are in the United States, that's not going to be the case. So I just wanted to say that being respectful and understanding people's different cultures is really important. Another word that I love, and this is another tip, is to travel slow. Now, travel slow is kind of like slow food. There's a slow food movement in Europe, and it's basically the opposite of fast food. It's to eat really healthy, nutritious foods instead of going to a fast food place. And, and you know, we have that culture here starting in the United States as well, but it's called slow food. Well, I love that for slow travel. I think when we're traveling, we should stay at least two nights in one place, because if you're bouncing around from place to place to place, you're not experiencing the culture, you're not experiencing that city, and you're not getting all of the great feelings. I remember back in September of 2021, I did this fantastic trip. I mean, it was really amazing. But the only problem is that we stayed one night in one place, got on a train, went to another place, one night there, went to another. It was exhausting. It was beautiful. But sometimes I'm like, what city was I in? So I really want to step back to say, I want, and I think it's really good to slow down, enjoy where you're at and really experience those cities. And you can take day trips from those, that one hub, right? So I'm going to be leading a trip next March on the French Riviera. And what we're going to be doing is staying seven nights in Nice and doing just these fabulous day trips. And talk about really being able to experience the city of Nice and that whole French Riviera. It's going to be amazing. There were times when I've gone to Paris and I just wanted to stay in Paris, but I wanted to see the surrounding areas. So I did a day trip from Paris to Brittany, and we did from Paris to um, Normandy. We did those. Um, so there's ways in which you can still experience the region around you, but not at one night here, one night here, pack, 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 and go. So that's an advice and a tip that I would like to share with you. And lastly, but of course, you know, it's really important is to make sure you prioritize safety. Now, you can research your destination to find out if there are any pockets of concern that you need. There might be and there might not be. Um, you need to be aware of your surroundings, no matter where you go. If you are cognizant of the area around you, that will be really helpful. Don't count your money in public. 
Don't look lost and confused. If you feel like you're lost, then, you know, hop into a coffee shop, hop into a restaurant and get your bearings. Just have confidence and make sure that you are not walking around with your purse open, things like that. It's really important to make sure that you are safe. Now, I did a video on safety that you can see right there, and um, and I hope that's going to be helpful for you as well. So those are my tips for novice travelers. I hope it's been helpful. If there are any tips you as a viewer have for a novice traveler, let me know. I'd love to know what you think is important. I always love to hear from my subscribers. I really appreciate you being here. And that's really all for now. If there is anything else you want me to talk about, if there is a subject that you would like, please leave that in the comment as well. I have a free download, free gift if you want that. I also have all of my links to my upcoming trips below. You can contact me if you want to plan your trip. I'd be happy to help you with that. So with that, I'm going to say ciao for now. I hope you have a really great day and take good care.